Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how I've created this repeating pattern in Inkscape, which is a free program. The pattern can be exported as a PNG file to be used in other graphic software. Patterns can be resized in Inkscape and used to fill text and shapes. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial, and as we say here in Trinidad, with no old talk. I first created a rectangle and colored it gray by clicking on the color palette below. I placed a rectangle on its own layer by first clicking on layer in the menu bar, then layers. I renamed the layer by just clicking on the text and typing in the name that I wanted and then pressed the enter key. I added a new layer by clicking on the plus icon, then renamed it. To create the rectangle, I first clicked on the rectangle tool, then clicked and dragged on the canvas. I clicked on white in the color palette below to change its color. I changed the dimensions of the rectangle to make it into a square by entering the width and height in the selection boxes. With the square selected, I clicked on object, then transform, and under the transform panel, clicked on rotate. I then set the angle at 45 degrees and clicked on Apply. Now would be a good time to save your file if you haven't done so already. I imported a hot PNG file that I found on the net by clicking on File, then Import. Choose your file, then click Open, and then click OK. Right click on the heart and click on Trace Bitmap. The heart has one color and a transparent background. So I clicked on Single Scan. Then in the drop down box, I clicked on Auto Trace. Then Update, then OK. The traced heart is above the original image. Move it aside and delete the original image. I then squared off the dimensions of the heart. If you don't see the Align and Distribute menu, then click on this triangle on the right bottom of the screen, just above the color palette. To center the heart, first select the heart, and while holding the Shift key, select the square. Make sure Selection Area is selected and click on Center on Vertical Axis, then click on Center on Horizontal Axis. Select both the heart and the diamond. Then right-click and click on Duplicate. Click and drag the duplicate until it snaps to the bottom of the top diamond. Duplicate it two more times and make sure it snaps into place. I clicked and dragged over the entire design to select it, then resized it to 100 by 100. I placed the cursor over black in the color palette then right-clicked and then left-click Set Stroke. To adjust the thickness of the stroke, in the Fill and Stroke menu, click on Stroke Style. Then click on either the plus or minus icons. I adjusted the stroke on the second heart to match that of the first. I selected the diamond on the left and filled it with a red color, and did likewise for the diamond on the right. I changed the color of the stroke on the hearts to white by hovering over white, then right clicking, and then clicking on set stroke. I found the stroke for the hearts was a bit too thin, so I changed it to 1.042. I highlighted the entire design 
by clicking and dragging over it. Then I right clicked and clicked on group. I then chose the draw bezier curve from the toolbar. I hovered the cursor over the top of the leftmost diamond and clicked. When I saw the text handle to corner, I then moved the cursor to the top of the rightmost diamond and clicked. I did this three more times until the square was complete. I filled the square with black. While it was selected, I held down the shift key and clicked on the heart design. I then clicked on object, scroll down to clip and clicked on set. I made a duplicate of the design for safekeeping and then I resized the copy to 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Make sure that your stroke and fill menu is visible and that fill is selected. When the pattern is created, it is given a number which will appear here. With the design selected, click on object, then pattern, then object to pattern. Note that in the pattern fill, the number has changed. This is your new pattern number. To apply the pattern 4214, I drew a rectangle, then clicked on the pattern icon, then clicked on the pattern fill drop down box, then clicked on pattern 4214. To scale, rotate, or move the pattern in the rectangle, zoom out a bit, then click on edit parts by nodes. You will notice that three control icons have appeared. An X, a circle, and a square. Click and drag on the X to move the pattern inside the square. To rotate the pattern, click on the circle and drag. To scale the pattern, click on the square and drag either inward or outward. Hold down the Control and Shift key while you drag to lock the dimensions of the pattern. Your patterns can be used to fill shapes as well as text. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care and bye for now.